Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix Can't install WSL error, the system cannot find this path specified WSL.msi cannot be found or if you check this particular error which is happening for many users right now and how you can fix this app So let's get started so the first one is all about you just need to follow the instruction that you need to copy and paste this command in the powershell so let me copy this particular command so let me copy this and just need to go over here now we'll go for powershell first you need to run it as an administrator go for run as an administrator go for yes now copy the powershell and press enter now we need to go for the next one copy this one as well wsl install d ubuntu copy this and you have to paste it now once you paste this particular command on the uh, powershell you are fine with it once afterwards you have to give s and continue the process and once afterwards you have to check whether the issue is solved or not most probably this is going to work in most cases so that's the first step but if it's it's not working what we need to do is we just need to run the next command we need to run the same command that is wdsl.exe slash update should be run but the one the thing what you need to do is you just need to copy this and paste the second command like you said once it is done you just need to first run both the commands using the powershell as an administrator Afterwards, the next one, we need to run the same command, but you should not be running the PowerShell as an administrator. So just go over here, search for the PowerShell once again, go for the PowerShell, paste this, press enter. Once done with this, you need to copy the next command. That is same command, but this time you should not be running this in the, you should not be running this particular command in the PowerShell as an administrator. You should be just uh, opening the PowerShell and press this one. Now go for yes now it will be in process so once it is successfully done what you need to do is once this particular one is done you just need to close this and you have to check next one after trying with this still after running this particular command still if there is an issue you have to move to the next command that is this is the command so copy this particular command and you have to go over here now you have to search for the powershell once again now you just need to run this as an administrator now press this, press enter and now once it is done, we cannot, you can just go over here, you can go to the next one, that is you just need to copy this particular command, let me copy this, okay. Now you need to give the next command, that is WSL install the Ubuntu 2020.4, so copy this and you have to paste it. So it is done. Now afterwards, if it's still done, next one, we need to run the same command. Don't get confused. You need to run this same command, but this time we should not be running the PowerShell as an administrator. So copy this command. Now go over here, go to PowerShell, go for open, press enter. Now copy the command once again, go to the PowerShell done now close this and you have to check next one we need to run the command in the powershell itself but the first you need to run this command and you have to make sure the powershell is ad as an administrator for both this this one and this one as well next one you should be removing the d so the first one let me copy this particular command I have to go over here for the powershell run as an administrator go for yes press enter now copy this command now we need to close this once again run this particular command And this time, you should not be running the PowerShell as administrator. Just open the PowerShell straight away. Paste this command, press enter. Go for once again. Now 
now if you have d over here you just need to remove the d and now press enter so once done just close this next one we need to update this that is we need to give this particular command in the powershell first we need to run it as an administrator so copy the command powershell run as an administrator go for yes paste press enter go for the next one press enter now copy and paste the same command and this time you should not be running it as an administrator search for the powershell just open it right away do not run it as an administrator go for yes press enter do it once again for the second command copy paste it on the powershell and run now it is done so after trying with these commands that you have to run each command on the powershell this particular command this this and this one but each time when you're running it you have to make sure one thing first you need to run the command as on the powershell as an administrator if it's not working you need to run the powershell without admin rights last and the least one we just need to uh, if it's still it's not working use the windows 11 use a media creation tool and we need to uh, make sure that we need to update it and also you have to take a complete backup of your data or else you'll be losing it which will be doing a complete reset so just make sure that so this will be helping when you're having an issue with can't install wsl error the system cannot find the path specified or dot sl msi cannot be found and i hope this quick video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification bye